Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. My name is Manya Shore, and I am the Fort Worth Library Director. Today is a very exciting day for us here at the Fort Worth Library because beginning this morning, we will be offering a new service to the citizens of Fort Worth and celebrating the freedom and independence that in-home internet access can provide to the people that live in our community. First of all, I'm grateful to City Council members Gina Bivens and Carlos Flores for joining us today, as well as supporters from our Library Advisory Board, the Fort Worth Public Library Foundation, and the Friends of the Fort Worth Public Library. Here in Fort Worth, we are the 15th largest city in the United States, and our neighborhoods are growing. And here in the library, we are striving to find new and innovative ways to provide exceptional customer experiences that meet this demand. As of today, Fort Worth residents can check out, for free, a mobile hotspot that will bring internet access to their homes. They can connect up to 10 devices. We are offering it here at East Berry, as well as Seminary South in District 9, at our Northside branch in Councilmember Flores District, and uh, here in District 5, not only at East Berry, but also at the Cavill Outreach Opportunity Library. I want to thank the friends of the Fort Worth Public Library for their financial support of this program. They are the only reason we are able to offer this today. The guidance from the Library Advisory Board, the dedicated library staff who put all of this together, and the collaborative spirit in other city departments, that's why we're able to make this service available today. We've chosen these four branches because they force they serve four different neighborhoods that have individuals, families, and businesses that don't always have easy access to the internet. I would like to introduce Gina Bivens to say a few words. How's everybody doing? I'm always too short to be behind a microphone. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I see a lot of library tags. So I'm going to be talking to staffers, volunteers, and any customers that are here. So all you customers on the computer here, I got something to tell you. We know that not everybody has access to the internet when they really, really want it. And so it's really up to you to help spread the word. You being library worker, you being Bunny, as you always have been the cheerleader for the library, and just anyone. It's important that we bridge this digital divide. I was taking a look at the FCC's website earlier this morning, and even Washington is forcing us to get broadband out quicker. It's imposing that on the different utility companies. And so I would ask you to please, please, please tell your neighbors, because you don't know what happens in somebody's house. You know, your, your neighbor may have a need for this kind of service. I would ask you to tell people at your church, if you go to church, I didn't go to church Sunday. A lot of folk know that because they were watching me on Facebook. But <laughs> you, you, you've got to tell people about this, and that creates the demand for more. And so library workers, you may be the cheerleaders that makes this happen. And what I would submit to you is, if you're able to convince people to use the library more and more and more, and we know that we have a lot of folk who come to this branch, but the idea that we can solve a problem in a household is something that I commend Manya for, Manya for, the whole staff, because there is a definite need. And too often, people don't want to express what their needs are. And so, Ms. Lane, tell your mom to tell all her Facebook friends that she can go to the north side and here and Seminary South. You really have to do this work as a missionary. And too often, those of us at City Hall believe people really know what we're doing because we're so busy doing it. But that's not always the case. And so there's a guy I sit next to at every council meeting, and I'm either poking him or he's poking me or we're talking about how we're going to vote on something. And I've just been so very impressed with one of the newest members of the council. And I want you to welcome Carlos Flores, who came from the north side to southeast Fort Worth. And we'll get you home safely, I promise. <laughs> Come on up here and say something. Thank you so much, Gina, for that wonderful introduction. My name is Carlos Flores, and I represent District 2 here in the city of Fort Worth, and I'm really excited to be here at this launch. This is a combined launch for this service, and I've already heard that at least one person is here 
because the demand is so high at the north side, the weight is not as bad here. So that's great. Again, what is that indicative of? There is a need. We are addressing a need that is prevalent in our communities. Gina and I have components in our district where we have families that don't have ready access to the internet. Now that's something we all tend to take for granted. But I read an article just a few days ago. Sir Timothy uh, Behrens Lee, who is a engineer and computer scientist who invented the internet. Not Al Gore, okay? <laughs> he invented the internet and he did it and when he did it, he released the source code. Why? He wanted it to be accessible to everyone. He saw it as a tool to connect us all to make information readily available. And he lamented recently that that has not happened, that that information is becoming centralized, that the control is tightening. So an effort like this makes that connection more possible and more readily available to those communities in our districts and around the city, not just Gene and I's district, to have that opportunity to give people that connection that we all take for granted. Because what comes with that? Economic opportunity and educational opportunities, which are very important to us all. So I'm very excited that this is going very well, splendidly. I want to give credit where credit is due, Wenya Shore and her staff have made it possible that we're all here today. And these small devices will bring a wealth of connectivity and opportunity you know, to our districts and to our residents. And like Gina said, we in City Council, we try to be as on top of issues that come up, but sometimes we're not aware of all these issues. That's why we rely on our staff to communicate what needs are there, and then we as council members try to be as responsive as possible. So I'm very happy to be in collaboration with the library staff on this, with Gina, you know, my fellow council person, and let's hope that this catches on, and I think it will. There'll be excellent demand for it and a lot of interest. So thanks to everybody involved. Thanks for showing up here, and let's get the show started. Thank you. As of yesterday, there were 66 holds on 80 devices. So we already know how popular this is going to be and we're already thinking about the next steps for this. As of right now, about a quarter of the country has no access to the internet in their homes. So I am thrilled that the Fort Worth Library is taking steps to offer it to our community. So without further ado, we are going to check items out and uh, Council Member Bivens and Flores, she's pointing at me, but I don't know what the pointing means. <laughs> yeah, so if you'll join me over here, we're gonna ceremonially check out our, uh, our first device. So you can play with the other side. Is this sure, we'll do it at the same time. You ready? One, two, three. Yep. Ooh. And we're open for business. <laughs> I'm Gina Bivens. I'm Quentin DeMet. Nice to meet you. And this is Carlos Flores. You're nice. Good to meet you. Oh, you're on the north side? Of no, the... actually, I live down. I live in Union Talk, Michigan. Okay. Ah. Well, then that makes you all of our constituents. So. I really appreciate y'all, uh, the city council, doing this, and I really appreciate the library staff here that initiated it. It's great. I'm yeah. so glad. I'm so glad. I had heard about this through a friend who was taking computer class down at the Central Library. I said, you have to be wow. kidding. <laughs> and you're the first one. I'm the first one. Yeah. 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 We'll scan that right under here. Okay. What's the data cap on it? Do you know? Um, it's there's no data cap. Oh, really? um, it does slow down once it reaches you know this 4G. Um, it's 4G, and then you know once it goes 3G. 3G. Yeah, it's right. Right. We're, we're not that technical. We're just good people. <laughs> okay. We're going to connect you and nine other friends. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Ten devices it. is a lot. Good to meet you. Yeah. Nice good to, to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Good. Thank Thanks you for the work that you do. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Open for business. <laughs>